up y'all <clears throat> welcome to my channel spirit advisor and i'm back with the truth okay let's jump into this read okay so this is gonna be about your family okay? i'm telling you right now your family and she i feel like you got some family members that's gonna come back and get the big and this shit they finna need your help they finna come big and you they they some damsel in the stress they wanted you to be the damsel in the stress but now they literally these the damsel in the streets. I feel like they tried to sabotage you. Okay, so what we got out here, we got the Ten of Pentacles. That's the first card that came out. The Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like whoever you are, Queen of Cups, whether you're man or woman, you can be a feminine in your masculine energy, a masculine in your feminine energy. If it was a, a King of Cups, um, in the truth, I feel like you could get some type of clarity or breakthrough, some type of knowledge on your or whatever your family were doing behind the scenes. Or as far as like ten of pentacles, yo, um, your stability, you know, your future, whatever this ten of pentacles is, this inheritance. I feel like you finna find some type of truth out about it, and it get your family, um, in some type of conflict. They could be arguing with each other. I'm getting yelling really loudly at each other, um, cause you finna get some type of good news. Cause like this is game reverse. Whatever they thought they were gonna gain, whether it was this money, whatever they thought they were gonna gain, they're not gonna get it. They're not getting it. It's not theirs to get. You finna triumph over this. Okay? So that's what I'm getting with that. <clears throat> so let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna move on from there. But I'm definitely getting whatever they thought they were getting. Baby, they not getting it. Okay? It's too many cards. Let's give me one card, please. Thank you. It's one card. Sabotage. Look, I can't make... They tried to sabotage you. They want you to live in fear. They tried to... With the saboteur, they really tried to sabotage you. And your family did this. They tried to sabotage you out of this damn tunnel. Mm. Mm. Queen of Cups, you coming out like very mystic, very loving, caring. You know what I'm saying? Some type of artist. You some type of artist or something like that. Or you, or, or something about your creative juices, or something like that. You could be like a guy. <laughs> yeah, you're an alchemist. So that's what you are. You're an alchemist. Mm. I'm also getting like whatever you touch turns to go. You've been this way since you was a child with a child card here, too. Mm. I'm also getting you have um, a childlike spirit, the ability to see things that others can't see. Yeah, Messiah on the bottom of the deck, seven humanity. So you got Messiah, and you got this childlike energy, and you got alchemists all coming out for the Queen of Cups. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I can't make this shit up. Family. I got two cards on here say family. We got double confirmation. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. There's family, right? So it's something, some type of family drama. I'm also getting some type of family dynamic is coming to an end as well. Mm. Okay, let's see what this is. Mm. Too many problems. Just clarify. Dang. I'm clarifying this uh rescuer. I can't make this up and hit the flow. Look, Ace of Swords and the Rescuer card, your family needs your help. But they some thieves. Look at all these. They some thieves. But they need your help. They need to be rescued now. I'm telling you this innocent, pure hearted person. This is the second child card. Look, you got childlike energy, which says um uh uh um like mind, body, and spirit. It's like you got this childlike soul. I don't give a fuck how old you are. You got this childlike spirit, right? And then you got um, innocent, purity, special connection with the divine. See, that's what they didn't know. You're an alchemist. They fucked up. That's all I'm saying. They fucked up. They fucked up royally, too. They fucked up. That's all I'm saying. They want you to be the devil's in the stress, but no, you, you come, you a lover. You know, motherfucking, uh, whatever. Look, family again. Yep. And then this version card right here, so this symbolizes purity too. So I'm getting like pure hearted for real. Um, shit. 
Somebody could have said you was a prostitute or some shit. <laughs> but you a fucking healer. I can't make this up. They say you was a prostitute, but you come out of healer? How is that possible? How is this person so pure and pure hearted and um connected to the divine, coming out as an alchemist? Everything they touch turns to gold. They a fucking healer. They run here healing people or whatever the hell they doing. But you said this person tried to do this. Or you said this person was a prostitute. Oh, you said they're a prostitute, but they mentoring people? Like, how the fuck is that part? They're they a visionary. This person is a visionary. They connected to the most high. They connected to God. You just storytelling. Motherfucker, you just lying. You know what I'm saying? This one again. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> <coughs> So, you said what now? I'm getting like your family, is, they, people looking at them like that, some damn fools. We'll see. Let me get some more on this family. Let's get some more on these Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting some damn bullies. They could have said you was a prostitute or you always out partying or something. Just lying on you saying you were this person, but you're not. Yeah, look, <clears throat> we got um, no facts, never have facts. So whatever they lied on you, this card say, matter of fact, it say making shit up lies. So they have no facts about what they said about you. And then they digging up dirt, looking for dirt on you. So they looking for dirt on you. They trying to find something out. Or whatever they looking for, they is not going to find. I keep getting it. Whatever they looking for, they ain't going to find. What they going to get What they gonna get is these motherfucking legal, these damn legal issues, right? So you get them all in their feelings, they hurt, they, you know what I'm saying, they ego, bruise, you know what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, look, I'm even getting like forced their karma and shit on you. They like trying to force things on you or force their way in, but this is not going to work. Whatever this is, it's dealing with court, legal issues, whatever this is, it's going down in court, okay, or it already happened, take it already later. <clears throat> They're gonna try to come back and try to kiss your ass, but guess what? You gonna be like same shit, different day. Like mm -mm, same shit, different day. They ass could be literally broke. They broke. They finna come back. They need your help. They broke now. So you got the thief cars so after y'all stole or did whatever the fuck y'all did. Now you think you want to? Now you think you coming back? What the fuck about this thief car? Now you coming back? I clarified the thief card and got the damn thief card again. We can look at them. So we got double confirmation on the thief, two different dicks. Mm. So it say rob. So they rob you or something physically or emotionally or both. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay. Yep, look. I speak today. They finna get some type of bad karma. Uh, and one of them is they broke and possibly could be going to jail. Whatever the hell. Let me see this. Could be going to jail, y'all. They definitely got some type of legal issues going on. They threatened. They feel intimidated by you. All the truth is out. They, they, everybody looking at them like they're a fucking thief. Everybody know what, this, what they did. Everybody know what they did. What is this? Give me another one. Is there no secret? Everybody know. Yeah, now they crying over you. Now they sad and hurt and upset because the truth is out. So they tried to, they look, bad reputation. This is what they tried to do to you. But the, the shit done backfired, so now everybody looking at them like they crazy. Bad reputation. Now they all in their head, they overthinking, they stressed out because everybody know that they are a wolf and she clothed. Okay? Everybody know it. And I feel like it's an ex here too, a stalking ex. They will only marry you for money. Because then we got jackpot or something. Then I'm also getting like, whatever's going on with this legal issue, whatever's going on in court, but they stole from you. Whatever, whatever's going on, um, you finna hit the jackpot, baby. You finna get this shit back. <clears throat> I mean, that's how I spend that check and get it right back. They could have sent somebody towards you to like uh, marry you for money, but you like uninterested in this shit. You were uninterested in them, or maybe you figured out what the hell they were doing behind the scene because you you connected to God right here. You a healer. They tried to play you. That's what they tried to do. But you un look, you not even like you uninterested in this person. This shit is hunting these people. Cause look, hunting these people because of the shit that they did. They having memories and flashbacks of what they did, trying to use these type of scare tactics to scare you. But this shit didn't work. There's some drama started. There's some uh, um, there's some cyber bullies too as well. You just dusted this shit off. 
You know what I'm saying? They talking shit and you look, they talking shit and you unfazed and unbothered by it because you a queen rider. Or you a king rising, but at the end of the day, they holding they holding the grudge when they really need to be reflecting on what the hell they, you know, got going on. But with this girl fight, the argument, this is what's going on with them. They arguing amongst each other. Look, physical physical fights. They compete. They at war with each other. Arguing with each other because the truth is out about what they did to you. You know what I'm saying? So. For what it's worth, shit. They caught up. I'm talking about everybody fighting amongst each other. These folks don't know what to do. And they and you still unbothered by whatever the hell happened. Like, I'm sure at first you wasn't, but now you like, I feel like you totally immune to that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And you just do what you gotta do to survive at this point. Um, but yeah. And yeah, like half six. <clears throat> So, I don't know what this marry you for money is. I don't know who. I'm going to clarify that right quick. Now, unless there's some, some, somebody towards you to uh, come in and, uh, you know, try to marry you for money because um, you must got some. <laughs> or that's what this is, a thief that took some from your inheritance. <clears throat> Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Life path, seven. Jupiter, let me get three more cards. Let me have two. Get three more signs, please. Leo, Capricorn, Pisces. It's three, right? Let me get one more. Oh, yes, I got two more. Uh, we got Fire Signs, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Leave a Gemini Aquarius. Okay. Let me clarify who this person is that, um, how they say trying to marry you for money. That your family done something towards you. <clears throat> Who is this person? What sign is this person? Marry you for money. Oh. Life path eight just fell out. Let me see. Who is this person? Damn, you saying that? That's too many, ain't it? You got sun. I'm going to take them all, but this is it. We got sun, cancer, Aquarius, Pisces, Neptune, and Mercury. Okay? Bottom of the deck, you have life there for. So, yeah. Let's see. Who's up with this person? They tried to marry you for money. Let's see what's going on with them. It's giving me like, um, um, what you call it? Yeah, giving money. I'm telling you, bro, they married you for money because they felt like you were finna get them some money. But they ain't getting that shit. It had something to do with some money, period. It had something to do with some money. And that's what it was. All this shit is over money. They thought you finna just give them some money. Like, bitch, I'm not giving you... I can't make this up. Look, obsessive lover. Obsessive lover married you for money. This person is dangerous, they toxic, and they very unhealthy for you. This motherfucker thought you just gonna get on some money, boy. Look. Into you. Good chemistry, creative vibes, and positive. So, it's in reverse. So, this person is not really one into you. It's just about your money. There's no good chemistry here. There's no good vibes. It never was. I feel like you moving on. Yeah, a romantic lover friend. You totally moving on. Mm, okay. So, okay. We got child services. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to be reported something, uh, ne neglect or child abuse. So whoever this person is, they, they son told you to marry you for money. They finna go and lose their kids. And look, dodge the bully and move in silence. So you need to be moving in silence. And then you got dodging bullets, blocking negativity. So you dodge the bullet when you, when you walked away from this person. I'm saying eight of cups. Oh, look at this. Careless. They could even no car repo car. They could be having car issues or they can get their car too. Repo or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I know I had a dream that somebody got their car repo. They could be this person because they losing everything. Okay, so this is what I got for you. I hope it helped. And this is like literally going on in the now. They literally stuck. They 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 tried to sabotage you. All this shit in the backfire. We're going to get some type of breakthrough. And the breakthrough is uh, 
the truth, right? So it's like you getting the truth and moving on from something. You know, when you get the full truth, you can heal from it, right? And you can move on and you can get, try to get what's yours. That's what I feel like is happening. <clears throat> okay, that's it, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all make good choices. Bye.